Hey folks, it's Berthume here. I'm uh, in the garden. As you can tell, it's nighttime. And uh, we're serious gardeners here. Serious gardeners come out at night if they have a problem with pests that uh, tend to come out at night. So today we're looking for sl slugs and snails, which uh, as you may know are active only during the nighttime. In the daytime they hide out. So we can catch some during the day, but the best time to catch snails and slugs is to go out and look for them at night when they're out and active and on the plants. So that's what we're gonna to try to do right now. Let's see how many we can get uh, tonight. We're gonna to go inspect our plants, our seedlings that we just planted. Snails and slugs love the seedlings, so hopefully we don't have too much damage here. All right. Okay, we're looking around here. Um, we planted some of this stuff the other day, right? This broccoli. Um, let's take a look. Oh my God, you guys. Check out, I can see this leaf being damaged here and let's see if I can get a, a picture of this. Yeah, look at these slugs. Um, one, two, three, four, five, a whole family of slugs. You can see they're devastating this leaf right here. Um, and if we go over to this guy, what's that? Yeah, you can see a slug right there. So I'm just, this is just called hand picking. We come out, we pick it off, which is hard to do with one hand, but I got it. There it is. And uh, how am I going to dispose of this? I'm going to put them in a can here or a jar of soapy water soapy water um, will deactivate the slime so the snail cannot move I'm sorry that's a slug the slug cannot move and we basically drown the slugs so yeah I think it's the most humane uh, way to kill these guys they are pests so they need to be destroyed we could take them to some slug farm I suppose and uh, but I'm just not I'm just not doing that right all right, I'll uh, let you know if I find some other big ones. All right, here's a pepper plant. You can see this slug is actually feeding right on the leaf in the top right corner there. You can see him chowing. You can see the edge of the leaf uh, is eaten away. That's what they do. There's another one right behind it working on the inside. And down below, you can see a couple there. They like to travel in groups. Uh, I think they're families. I think they're related. So I'm gonna pick these guys off and uh, hopefully this pepper plant won't be too badly damaged. Okay, y'all, you're gonna be the, we're gonna be uh, the first ones to see what's happening underneath here. I think we have some peppers under here. Um, slugs tend to love peppers, so let's see. Let's see how it looks. been eating eaten up let's see here's one on the edge here right there Ooh, here we can see a couple going for it right there this guy's going for him. Intercepts before you reach the plant. Got you. And look at this poor son of a gun. Oh my gosh. We got a whole family here. Oh, sluggers. I got him though. Here's another one, you guys. Um, this is not a slug. You guys see this? That is an earwig. It's got those pincers on the back. Um, those guys are a little bit of a pest too. You can see he's, he's playing dead right now, but he's alive. That's for sure. All right, folks, that's a wrap. I've been out here about an hour and Let's see, uh, it's gonna gross you out maybe, but 
those are all the slugs I got. There's a lot of um, dirt in there as well, but all that gray, gray things, those are all slugs that I pulled off. So I would say maybe 200, maybe more of all the different shapes and sizes. A lot of small ones, some big ones. Uh, yeah, it's a good day of picking slugs. Got to do it. Luckily, uh, they can't run very fast, so as soon as you spot them, uh, it's pretty easy to grab them. They're a little slimy. Um, I'm gonna go wash my hands right now and uh, go home because it's kind of strange being in here at night. I don't like it. I'm out of here.